Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Cathedral check-in. My name is Mark McDonald. I'm the Assistant Director of Music here at Christchurch Cathedral. Uh, I'm joined today by the Emily Carr String Quartet, who have been familiar faces around these parts over the last couple of years, and in particular, uh, with the recent launch of the Earth Songs Music for Climate Justice series here at the Cathedral. Uh, we had our first concert on February 11th, and the quartet is getting ready for the next concert on March 11th. Uh, so welcome, Emily Carr String Quartet. Uh, tell us who you are. Hi, um, I'm Mugit Buchanan. I play the first violin. I'm Mika. I play the viola. Corey Balser, second violin. Alistair Money, cello. Great. And um, we're just getting ready for uh, the March 11th concert. So I see you're uh, huddled up in your practice room there, getting ready to go. Um, uh, Muge, tell me a little bit about uh, Earth Songs and the, the, the concept of putting together these concerts, at least the first three concerts that the string quartet's doing. Well, um, basically what we are trying to, to bring out is the awareness of climate change, which uh, is a very, very important topic of our time and um, for everyone. And um, bringing that awareness and tying with music is the way we can approach the subject and yeah. what we are trying to do, basically. There's quite a connection between uh, the namesake of your quartet and environmentalism, right? How Absolutely. Um, Emily Carr was a, 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 a really um, a big um, supporter of environment and um, she spent quite a bit of time in, in wilderness uh, with her little camper and, um, and also all her paintings um, reflect um, her approach and her care. And um, that's also a big inspiration for us. Um, um, basically, we are just trying to, to bring all these aspects to people. And obviously the composers are very much influenced by, by nature and mm. um, enhances our repertoire a little bit too. So. Yeah, so our, our first concert, which was back on February 11th now, um, the each one of these concerts features a charity that we uh, highlight and uh, direct funds to. And uh, the, the first concert, um, Sonia Firstenau, who is the Green Party leader in BC, came and talked to us about the Mother Tree Project. Um, what, was the, uh, what was the musical connection with those pieces on that concert? Uh, I'm looking at you, Al. Uh, well, the first concert was uh, uh, entitled Air, and uh, the, we chose those pieces on the first concert because of the, the sonorities and effects that you hear in those pieces reminded us of, of air and wind, and uh, we just thought it, the, the first piece was a John Luther Adams piece called The Wind in High Places, and it only used harmonics and open strings, and we thought that was very effective. And, uh, and the Ravel, too, uh, there's many effects in there that, are, that pay homage to the sounds of nature, and especially air and wind. Yeah, the I love the Adams piece for for that open string sound, um, and the the Ravel reminded me so much. Like uh, I forget if it was you, Muge, that had been saying before that it's like you're running without even touching the ground. Yeah, <laughs> it's sort of how the Ravel feels. Um, so really cool that that it's really neat to hear these musical connections and composers obviously use a lot of different um, ways of of uh, incorporating nature into their works. Um, in the March 11th concert, um, you've got a couple of other pieces that are related to our next theme. And uh, Mika, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, connection with water for the next concert? Sure. Uh, one of the biggest connections in, in the program, of course, is the Armory Schaefer, uh, the waves. Um, he, he wrote it in, um, in connection with a world soundscape project that um, he was researching. Um, and knowing how 
or, or he wanted to represent um, through his music what the sounds of the environment. And so he chose uh, the ocean and waves and water um, for this one. Um, so he's, he's looking at the breaking of surf. He's looking at um, how water moves, um, how fluid it is. And so he wanted to represent that in terms of sound. So you're going to, um, our audience is going to hear um, us really um, involved in each other's parts quite a bit um, and um, like undulating rhythms and um, flowing through each other's parts. Um, and, and the way that we have to play this, we're looking at a score and we're, we're really seeing, okay, the, the cello is going to move here. Okay, I want to move after him. And then, you know, we're, we're watching the score very visually um, mm -hmm. as a, a, a four part um, production. <laughs> um, and the Debussy is, a, is the second thing on the program or second piece on the program. Um, and here, Debussy was, re was really trying to uh, branch out, um, out of the Germanic sound of the, of, of the quartets that came before him uh, mm -hmm. writing this one. Um, uh, he was really interested in, in um, the poetry and the uh, impressionist music that was, um, or visual arts that was going on at the same time as his composing of this string quartet. And um, so in terms of, we related this one in terms of maybe how you see light on water. Mm. Um, and so the, the way that light is reflected into water. Um, and, and WC used all, also the same kind of undulating rhythms and um, flowing, flowing movement of um, rhythm and um, color and color, mm -hmm. really. Um, yeah, well, I'm really excited to hear that. I've never had thought about this idea of light bouncing off water. And I'm really looking forward to hearing both of those pieces. Um, as I said, with each of these concerts, we support a uh, local charity um, and uh, direct funds from that. If you're giving um, uh, through the live stream online, those funds go um, to uh, all the funds from that go to our uh, uh, featured charity and also there's an opportunity for those in person as well to make donations after the fact. There is, um, uh, there is a very local charity featured with this program which is the Bowker Creek, the Friends of Bowker Creek Society um, and they look after uh, and promote the um, the restoration of, of Bowker Creek, which is a watershed in Greater Victoria, um, which has become very much endangered and, and uh, partially because of our urbanization. And so this group has been promoting the reclamation of those um, creek ecosystems. And uh, it's really a wonderful group. So um, you can learn more about them. Uh, if, Google Friends of Bowker Creek. And of course, uh, you can also find out on our website. Um, music and climate justice, uh, sometimes the connection is not always very clear, um, but we've been able to draw that connection in part thanks to some very generous funding. Um, and Corey, I was wondering if you would be able to tell us a little bit about that connection. Sure, well, we're really glad to uh, be partnering with Christchurch Cathedral on these projects, it's so great to have their support. Um, and it also wouldn't happen without some support from the Gail O'Reardon Climate and Arts Fund. And uh, this fund uh, was set up a few years ago by John O'Reardon, and it supports issues that were important to Gail O'Reardon, who, who we all knew and, and loved. So this uh, project is sort of the best we can do in terms of bringing attention to both the things that, that matter to awareness and that's climate awareness as well as music so it's generous support from the O'Reardon fund which is uh kind of bringing all this together and uh and also Christchurch Cathedral and the organ conference that are coming up mm -hmm. after we're done playing so it keeps going so that's we're really glad about that support well, we are so pleased here at the Cathedral to continue our partnership with you, Emily Carson Quartet, and thank you all for joining me and taking time out of your practicing today to be here.
Uh, for all our, for our audience watching, we uh, the concert is coming up. It's Friday, March the 11th at 5 o'clock p.m. You can find out more information on our website, christchurchcathedral.bc.ca slash earthsongs. And that also has links to tickets, as well as the live stream, as well as information on each of the programs, of which there are still five concerts left from now until June. So I hope you'll join us for March 11th. Again, thank you to Emily Karstern Quartet, and uh, we'll see you all really soon. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.